Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and this is the bathroom in my tiny home. Notice it's got a flush toilet, so soon I'll be re re retiring the pee jug. Well, we're going to do that uh, Friday night at Beer 30. We're going to retire the pee jug, but that's another story altogether. See, I've got me a light rigged up there, and it's semi-worked. However, and I've taken the cover off on this one. There's a cover that goes in there. This thing right here goes up in here, but I've taken it down. And, and I thought it was fluorescent, but it's not. Look at this. What the hell is that? Huh? And it's some kind of LED stuff. A strip. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that in my life. So all you electrical bulb experts, uh, <laughs> I don't think it works. I mean, it kind of flickered. But that could have just been because of the poor electrical connection or whatever but anyway I'm just looking at stuff prior to the electrician showing up today or tomorrow so I can ask questions and here's another one in here I got two of them uh, this one here uh, kind of popped one day and then it went out and then this one over here still works but I, the power's not on in this section of the house but look at that you know what I mean what in the shit is that I mean I know it's LED but, you know, there's no way to get it off. See, there's no, there's no Allen screws around on this thing anywhere. No Allen screw. This thing here doesn't twist. That retainer doesn't turn. Uh, or at least I can't get it to turn. And these three little screws, you can take them out, but that doesn't do a damn thing. I mean, the, it, uh, you can take them out, and this thing does not come loose right here. Okay? So, electrical people, what in the hell's going on here? Is this a conspiracy or what? Are these Martian bulbs? Could be. But anyway, while I've been marking time, so to speak, waiting on the electrician to get here, I've cleaned the air conditioners and filters, all three of them. I've cleaned the uh, fan blades on all the fans, all three of them, one on the patio and two in the house. And about four pounds of dust came off of them, but I got them cleaned up. So that's clean and that's clean and that's clean everything's getting cleaned up but uh, i'm getting cleaned out <laughs> but anyway yeah it's nice and clean and that air this air conditioner works i could turn it on right now if i wanted to but uh why would i do that temperature inside shows to be about 78 which is not bad and i've got a bulb rigged up over there too i may get a lamp at some point but you know until i do that's the way it's going to be but the purpose of this video for you super electrician types what in the hell? I have never seen. I know it's LED. I know it is. I, I've seen them, but I've never seen anything like that. And you know, this is in the bathroom, and it, it, it's like where it says it's 120 volt, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know, man. Weird. Totally weird. And it, But the trick of it is, you'd think you would just loosen those screws, and this strip, the strip would come out. Well, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I'll ask the electrician when he gets here. He should be coming maybe today, if not tomorrow for sure, because he said he'd be finished by Friday, and I imagine he will. So with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609 wandering around his tiny home and getting things done a little bit at a time. And once we get all the electric stuff working... Then, you know, I can organize my, uh, God dang, I'm going to get the name of this thing right now. It is called a an Instant Pot. Hello, Instant Pot. I got an Instant Pot, and that's to make smoothies with. That's a popcorn popper. That's a two-burner cooktop. And that's not all I got, but all of it's electric. And unfortunately, we don't have any electric in the house right now. Okay, got a fly swatter. That'll work. So what else we got here? I'll show you. I got this rigged up. I think I showed it to you already. I'll show it to you again. It's for the hell of it. But yeah, there's a toaster in here, and there's that oven thing. But I'm going to use this little old toaster for toasting bread. Keep it, and because it's quick and it's easy and all that stuff. This thing here, you know, the, the, the first of all, the writing around those knobs. Uh, yeah, you better have your cheaters on because you can't read that writing. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. So I'll have to memorize what, what that middle one is a timer. Uh, the top one is the heat level, and the bottom one is uh, for, for you to just try to figure out, I guess. But yeah, we're, we're getting there. See, I mean, I got all my stuff in, you know. I, yeah, I, I've got everything in the house now, 
out of the RV except for that one thing, which is the stuff in the bathroom. And the reason that's still there is because I am waiting for the electricity to get fixed here and the uh, instant hot water thing to be installed. So I'll have a, can take a hot or at least warm shower, see? And yeah, there's the old mind changer. And there's more, there's more. I got hand grenades, uh, RPGs. You know what I mean? Whatever I need, right? Here's the patio. And uh, yeah, that's clean. I washed it off, actually. Not washed, W-A-S-H, wash. You got it? You know, like Washington, W-O-R-S-H. I hear you, I hear somebody made fun of the way I talk, but do I care? Hell no. But it's warm here today, guys. This is a warm day in Brackettville, Texas for this time of the year because it shows to be on my patio, if you can read that, about 82 degrees, which is, for this time of the year, I would say unusually or abnormally warm. Everything is out of that motorhome, though, ready to go. So if the buyer follows through that says he's going to follow through, then he gets it. But I'll be patient. I'm not in a big hurry, but I haven't heard anything. And so we'll just have to see how that works out. K okay, Sarah, Sarah on that one. And uh, what else? That's all, guys. Just a quick, it looks real cluttered right now, I know. Because I've got some shelves ordered to put that stuff on over there. i got to get everything more squared away. And some, i got some more tables coming. So anyway, with that in mind, guys, the tiny home expedition, or whatever you want to call it, is getting done and i know that's a ukulele okay i called it a banjo i know the difference a banjo is round a ukulele is like that but i can't spell ukulele i can spell banjo so anyway from fort clark springs texas on a warmish day for this time of the year this is like december the 8th anyway guys thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos why because it doesn't cost you a penny. You just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you choose, drink plenty of water, stand guard at the door of your mind. Very important there. Stand guard at the door of your mind and enjoy your life. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Keep your health.